Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We are finally set up in the shelter. We're sitting on an underwater point. We're in some weeds. And we're just waiting for some bluegills and crappies and whatever to swim through. So we're kind of just ambushing them today. And the lake is really, really, really mushy. There's a lot of water in the lake with the storm that we just got. So we don't really want to move around today just because there's so much water on the ice. And uh, it's difficult to walk around in. So. I don't want to deal with that necessarily today, so we're not going there. We're just going to sit in one spot, fish, and see what happens. All right, then we got a fish down there. Our first one. Oh, I can see it. It was a bass. the bass, I can see them down the hall. There we go. First fish. Largemouth. It's clear enough. I'm only in 10 feet of water here and I can see down the hole. Let me sit down there. There we go. Thanks for playing, bud. Got something on bottom coming up. Check us out. Probably a gill. Spring pumpkin seed. You get them by the transducer. Hey, check that out. That's a nice looking fish. Fell out of my hands. There we go. Nice looking pumpkin seed. Some more fish waiting, so ought to not keep them too long. Oh, yeah, a lot of bluegills down there. It's fun to be able to see them on the graph and down the hole. This one is not a bluegill, this is a pumpkin seed. Take it easy there, guy. He does not want to be up here right now. Beautiful fish. Drop back down. Let's see if we can cap catch another. There seems to be, looks like there's a school down there on the graph, so. There we go. Oh, look at that, a crappie. I was not expecting that right now. Like I said, we're in 10 feet of water, so I wasn't expecting there to be a crappie here. But, <clears throat> hey, I'll take that. Any day of the week. Drop back down, we got more coming up. On, immediately. Got a little bluegill. Not big. They are just loaded down there. There's a ton of fish on the screen. Oh, here we go. Come on. Got one that's interested. Kind of interested. Let's try some real meat. Try to entice some of those more finicky fish that are down there. Bum ba dum ba. Bum ba dum bum ba dum. Oh, there we go. There's something down there. Checking us out. Oh, it's a really small gill. He ate. Ah, that's actually not tiny. That's a decent sized one. I'd eat that. We're not going to be keeping anything today, but if it was, I might keep him. This one's going to require a surgical tool. Go. Another guy. Head back down. Thanks for playing. I just wanted to discuss where I'm fishing right now, where I'm finding these fish. I'm sitting on 10 feet of water off a drop off. If you go 5 feet that way, it goes from 10 feet to about 14 feet. And from there, it just keeps getting out deeper and deeper until about 20, 25 feet of water. I'm sitting on a transition so there's weeds in this spot that I'm sitting over right now. If you go a couple feet this way there's just sand and silt. I'm sitting kind of right in the weed line right now and these fish seem to just be cruising around and they're just cruising through in smaller schools like you saw before I've caught pumpkin seed, bluegill, and a crappie now at this point. So we kind of have a mixture of different fish species swimming through. This particular area that I've been fishing so far all winter season has produced really well. This shallow water up on the weeds has been producing walleyes, crappies, gills, and pike as well. I'm kind of getting a good mixed batch right here. As the winter progresses, uh, I'll just start moving off this point out in the deeper water. But as for right now, these fish are holding here and I'm ready to catch them. Where are the fish? I don't know. Where are the fish? I don't know. Well, unfortunately, it slowed down quite a bit. Uh, I had fish moving through consistently for about a half hour and then it 
kind of just really died. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down a big rattling bait and that's either going to help attract some crappies and gills back into the area or it's going to draw some more predatory fish in and we're going to maybe catch one of those. So I'm going to drop down a big rattling bait and let's see what happens. Ooh, we got ourselves a good one. Oh yeah. Check that baby out right there. Check that out. I mean, he's not massive by any means. Still, that's a pretty nice one. Get him unhooked. Get him back. Thanks for playing. That makes me happy. We've been kind of on a lull. We haven't really been catching a whole lot. It's been like that for the past 45 minutes, I'd say. Really just have not had a whole lot of fish swimming through, but now it looks like they're starting to again. We'll see how long that continues. It is getting later in the day. It's currently 4.08. Sun sets at about 4.30, so we got roughly 20 minutes left with the sun being up, and then it's going to start getting dark. Probably stay here right up until sunset, maybe a couple minutes afterwards, but I really don't plan on fishing in the dark and want to get out of here while I can. There we go, we got some fish. He's coming up for it, though. There we go. Wicked little guy. Wicked quick. Little gill shot it from bottom and attacked it. He wanted it small, but that's all right. They're still there. Still there, still there, still there. That is what we call in the business a rock bass. Hey, I'll, I'll take that. It's having a bit of a difficult time getting down the hole, though. Get it, there we go. We made it to the bottom. He's having a bit of a difficult time there. Still got some more down there. There's another one coming up. And we got it. Oh yeah, look at that. Another nice gill. I am liking it. I am liking that a lot. And uh, there he goes. He slipped right out of my hand. Back into the water. Come on, let's see if we can't cut. We got more coming up from the bottom. They are just stacked now. This is completely different from the past hour of just sitting here with nothing and now all of a sudden they're just stacked down there and they're got a mix of what, bluegills and we got a pumpkin seed again. Heck yeah. Still down there. Let's keep this going. Another one coming up. Again. Super, super small guy. He came up fast from the bottom though and ate it small guy, but I'm just going to see how fast we can catch these. They're still down there. They seem to be biting a little more aggressively. Another one coming up. And there we go, another one. Amazing. Let's do this, sir. I'm going to get him to stay out. He's He is small and he ate that. He is down in there. It's usually these really small ones that inhale it. We got fish down there, ate it up again. Pull that jig horizontal. Drop down. Come on, let's go. They're still down there. I want to catch a couple more of these before it gets too dark outside. I gotta pack up. I know I have lights and everything. I just I, I hate tearing everything down and packing up in the dark. So, or if I can do it while it's light out, I'm gonna do that. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna end today's fishing adventure here. It was a great day out on the ice, really soupy and everything after that storm, but we made do. Uh, luckily, we only had to come out and drill a couple of holes to find this spot, and uh, I've just been sitting here this whole time, and the fish have just been cooperating really well. They're biting well, they're moving through. Um, so overall, really, really good day. Um, definitely really happy with this spot. Like I said, I've been fishing it since uh, first ice came out, and uh, the spot's been really producing. So I'm going to keep fishing in this area on this weed line until it stops producing later this winter. Anyways, if you like this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.